Okay, now I've got it jacked up, so to speak, on a couple things from the garage. So, let's try again. A bit more clearance, this should work. After a little bit of grinding on the sleeves and the swing arm mount, uh, I got it in and I have the engine bolt in. Just need to put the nut on and then I need to connect the suspension mount. But it works and I mounted up the control box, which bolts into here, 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 using these nut extenders here into the original spare tire mount. Okay, I started the wiring today. I got the 12 volt circuit diagram printed out. I took one of the old shifter cables and the outer cables and ran that through the body to help guide the wires through. I also fished um, this connector through that hole is a bit tight, but it fit. The one on this side is going to be a bit harder. It's definitely not big enough, so I'll probably just need to disconnect the wires from the connector and fish it all through and then reconnect it. So that worked. Just taped the wiring harness to the old outer cable, pulled it through. Fairly easy. Let's see, got this whole mess on this end um, and the new brake pedal switch cable I need to just push, fish that through the hole underneath that should be painless because this whole wiring harness goes right past that so I just fed part of the wiring harness through this grommet here and then the wires for the tail light brake light here now this I really wish I had done before I'd put the motor in because it just was really difficult didn't have a lot of room it's kind of working blind but I got it through basically fishes through into the through the fender there and then out here and then I can attach the LED brake light tail lights and put that back together um, couple of the wires here I'm not really quite sure what they do yet but I'm sure I'll figure that out made some progress on the wiring I customized the uh, the wiring harness for the original speedometer cluster uh, tapped into some appropriate wires in the new wiring harness including um, for the brake lever so I'm going to a brake light. So I need to do some connections down here for the turn signals and the uh, battery gauge. But otherwise, it's coming along. Back here, the turn signal wire is ready to be connected here. Um, split open this wire and harness so I could just bring the wires for the uh, indicator relay just down there. And... The side I'm going to mount my battery gauge here. I already drilled a pilot hole in the body. Um, obviously not a decision taken lightly to drill holes in the Vespa, but that's what I want to do. 
And so now I just need to get use my 20 mil hole saw and drill the proper size hole. There we go. Walked up the paint a bit more than I like. I've got a bit of touch-up paint. But um, that's done. So I'll just clean that up a bit. And then mount the batter gauge there. I'm going to reuse these, these two spare wires in here. I have no idea what they do. They come in with the right indicator wires. Um, so I'm going to connect, do the connection on the other side as well. But... Yeah, so fairly easy from a wiring standpoint. Got the turn signals connected. I've got the battery gauge wires connected on this side. So it's more or less done up front. That's for the horn. This I need to extend and then route down towards the uh, brake switch down by the foot pedal. I'm still trying to make this hole a little bit bigger. 20 mil hole saw I used wasn't quite big enough, so I'm just going to use my Dremel. fits now. Uh, still too much. I don't really I don't want to damage the plastic threading threads here. I could, th could theoretically start screwing it in there, but I don't want to get it tight. So Keep going with the Dremel, make it bigger so it just gently drops in. The battery gauge is in. It took just another few minutes with the Dremel tool to make the hole big enough, but then it slotted in. And then I tighten up the nut, and everything is wired up underneath. I also ran the outer throttle cable here down, and I used that to fish the extended brake light wire down. And now it's sticking up here for now. And the brake light wires are hanging down below for now. I'll hook them up soon. But now I can actually connect the horn and put the horn cast back on. Horn cast is back on. And I can put the all important Piaggio logo back on. Covering that last screw hole. And I can now I shut the glove box here. And focus up on here. So what I'm going to do is everything can connect now, but I'm going to shorten these because I think they're a bit too long. And I'm worried about there being enough room in there when I actually put everything back together. So I'm going to shorten this. I'm going to shorten this. That way there's a bit more room up here. It's not strictly necessary, but it's just in terms of Keeping anything organized, I think it's the best thing to do. And it's not, it's not that difficult. This is only three wires, six wires. Should be easy. Got all the wiring connected up front. I've temporarily plugged in the headlight and the dash. And I'm just going to test out the 12 volt circuit. So I've got the old battery hooked up here. I'll just connect the ground wire. Ha. We have the lights. That's good. Tail light is on. And I've got light up in the speedometer cluster, which is great. Check the horn. Yep. Good stuff. Excellent. Now I can continue with the back here. Okay, I've got the throttle cable connected. The speedometer is connected, so that is actually all ready to go 
back together. Back here, I plugged in the wires into the junction box. I rerouted this cable through the hole again and plugged it in. I've got the box in, the battery in, and now all I need to do is prep the rear turn signals or rear indicators on the panels and hook up the rear brake. And then I think I'll finally be able to do a test drive. So the hand wire is nearly 100% back together. I'm just gonna put my mirrors back on and my windshield. Now I'm just gonna take the rear indicators apart, held in by a couple screws here and here. I basically need to isolate the wiring from the indicator so that I'm gonna run, so it's no longer connected to the metal body and um, run new wires out of it and then connect up to my new wires on the rest of the bike. So the indicator cover is off, bulbs out. There's a strap here which connects the negative terminal on the bulb basically to the metal body parts here. So I need to cut that and probably solder a new ground cable onto that, drill a hole in the corner, and then this is just plastic here. And then um, join that up with the other the positive wire, which is at the back here, and put on some spade terminals, and then I should be able to connect it up to the body. So this is easier than expected. This metal strap here is actually quite easy to cut with some wire cutters. So I actually cut it down so that it fits perfectly into a spade connector there. Got a little hole going through the corner there, and the wire comes out around here. And now I'll just put a couple of spade connectors on there so I can connect up with the wires on the bike. So these are now prepped. Got my spade connectors on. I disconnected this wire from here and just rerouted it. So that should be enough room to plug into my new wires. So I've got the seat back on and I've got the this little metal platform that the battery sits on. The battery just goes down in there. So the battery's connected and basically just stick it in that way first. And then it just folds down in. It's a nice snug fit. And it's fairly stable. I've put in a bit of foam that came with the, in the packaging material just to kind of keep it moving a little bit, at least the box in it on the side down there. I'll probably put a couple pieces under the seat, just add a bit of pressure, just so nothing moves too much, but it's it's snug, that thing's not going anywhere. Rear brake pedal's in, and the rubber thing's on the end. Here's the brake cable, I routed it through the, um, basically the old throttle shifter cable passage instead of through there. That was the instruction from uh, retrospective scooters and it makes sense because you can make a nice arc down to the brake here. Now I just need to get this all hooked up, test the brake, and then I should be in position to actually take it for a test ride. I'm happy to say that the project is done. I've been riding it for several weeks now and it's been fantastic. It's the torque, I mean, just like any electric vehicle, the torque is incredible. You just pull right off the line so easily. Um, gotten up to about probably 50 miles an hour uh, legally. Um, and yeah, been riding it to, to and from work. It's about a 26 mile round trip. I, I do charge when I'm at the office. Um, but uh, no, it's been fantastic. And it's, if anyone has never ridden a um, electric moped, electric motorcycle, it, it's just amazing especially when you're in traffic, you just actually feel a heck of a lot safer because you can hear everything around you. You can hear other motorcycles coming up behind you. Um, I guess the probably the one downside is that other people cannot hear you. So you have to be uh, obviously very careful and use your horn if necessary. But um, no, it's it's great. It's smooth. It's quiet. 
uh, I don't have the crazy vibrations like I did when I when I was uh, running on gasoline, running on petrol. Um, it's great. And the kit from Retrospective Scooters has been, it's just amazing. It, everything just fits together so well. Um, I really can't thank those guys enough. And, then, you know, they're, they're an extremely helpful bunch as well. When I did have a couple questions on how exactly some of the wiring went together and things like that, they were very helpful. Um, I definitely can recommend this kit. Um, yeah, I'm never going back to petrol. This is fantastic. I mean, obviously, you know, this is not a, a long distance thing, but for me living in a city, this is exactly what I need and I can't be happier with it. It's just great. I hope, uh, everyone enjoyed this and finds it useful. And yes, definitely check out retrospective scooters and their kit. There's links in the uh, description below and yeah.